You won't recognize this man unless you read comics. That industry is still underground at the cultural margins. But to the numerous, if predominantly male, aficionados, Alan Moore is a god who revolutionized the art form. I suppose that the main drive is to find the edge of something and then throw myself over it. From hell, Watchmen, the League of Extraordinary Gentlemen, are all vintage more. So many of his comics have been turned into films that his impact on popular culture is disproportionate to his fame. And V for Vendetta, his nightmare vision of Britain under a dictatorship, has spawned something else too. It was you, you who appointed these people, you who gave them the power to make your decisions for you. That Guy Fawkes mask worn by the book's anti-hero V has been an inescapable presence at the anti-capitalist protests around the world. A face in the crowd from Wall Street to Tokyo via Mexico, Argentina and Seoul, adding an element of anonymity and performance to the Occupy protest movement. So what does the man behind the mask think? Channel 4 News took Alan Moore to meet the demonstrators for the first time. He was led round the St Paul's Cathedral camp by one of the Occupy crew. I mean, the reason I haven't been down before is because I didn't want to make too much of a thing of the, uh, the V-masks and stuff no. like that. I mean, I've admired you from afar. Within minutes, he's face to face with his creation. It's a bit surprising when some of your characters who you thought you'd made up suddenly seem to escape into ordinary reality. I mean, what is it about the mask that is... Is it just useful or... Or what? The whole um, like character is very relevant to what we're doing at the moment because uh, we're going against a system which we feel is corrupt, um, and uh, so we're doing the same kind of thing as what happened in the movie. The character. Alan Moore is too genuinely friendly to take issue with that mention of the movie, but he hates the way his work's been misappropriated as he sees it. If you're looking for the guilty. You need only look into a mirror. He never wanted films made, took his name off the credits and refuses the presumably pretty hefty fees to which he's entitled. Fairness, justice and freedom are more than words. They are perspectives. Time Warner profits every time a V-mask is bought. For many, that encompasses the contradiction of the iPod-using, Starbucks-drinking anti-capitalist movement. Moore, though, is amused by what he claims is the company's embarrassment at the association. For V is a nameless, faceless agitator who uses violence and wit to bring down a fascist government. Alan Moore is a self-proclaimed anarchist. Don't expect him to criticise these protesters. What do you think of it? Well, I'm, uh, I'm amazed, I'm very impressed and I'm rather touched. The people here are amazing. I think that this is probably the best organised and most forward-thinking protest that I've ever had experience of. That attitude to global protest isn't shared by one of the dominant figures in the American comics industry. Frank Miller, the writer behind Sin City and Batman The Dark Knight Returns, called Occupy Wall Street a pack of louts, thieves and rapists. Nonsense says more. If there's something in the world happening that you don't agree with, protest against it. If there's something that you wish existed in the world, then work towards realising it. The US comic tradition is of superheroes who save the world and embody American values. That's not Alan Moore's world view. The one place gods inarguably exist is in our minds, where they are real beyond refute, in all their grandeur and monstrosity. His work often explores spiritual and philosophical ideas. Rebellion is what drives British comic writing, he says. This goes right the way down to people like Leo Bax and Dale's Bash Street Kids um, on a simple innocuous level like that, Dennis the Menace. There is an, a strong um, strand of anarchy that runs through nearly all of the important characters in British culture. I think that uh, America is perhaps a more God-fearing and authority-fearing culture. Those anti-establishment Wall Street demonstrators, though, have Alan Moore fired up. Perhaps optimistically, he compares the people behind the global protests to a tidal wave. I don't think that they are the cause of the wave. They are simply the medium 
that the wave is moving through. A tidal wave cannot be said to have succeeded or failed. Uh, all that it can be said to have done is to have changed things, often monumentally. It may sound like exaggeration or the start of a comic, but then Alan Moore isn't just a comic writer, but a spiritualist, a performance artist, even a magician, and to his many fans, an anarchic visionary.